Safety Toolbox Talk Number 297 SOP for Safe Handling of Compressed Gas Cylinders 1. Purpose The purpose of this standard operating procedure, SOP, is to establish a safe system for the handling, use, storage, and disposal of compressed gas cylinders within the factory. It provides Guidelines to minimize risks associated with the handling of different types of compressed gases and to ensure that safety measures are consistently followed. 2. Scope This SOP applies to all compressed gas cylinders used within the factory, including those for inert gas blanketing, welding, and other industrial processes, like ammonia gas, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, Freon-12, LPG, liquefied petroleum gas. 3. Responsibilities Persons handling using storage of cylinders follow safety instructions and guidelines as specified in this SOP. Department head or designee organize training sessions in consultation with the Environmental Health and Safety EHAs, Department. Ensure compliance with the provisions of this SOP. Head EHAs or designee, monitor the system and ensure that the SOP is being followed effectively at the site. QA head or designee, approve the SOP documents. Ensure ongoing compliance with the SOP. Four procedure. 4.1 Care and Handling, Use, and Storage of Gas Cylinders Compressed gas cylinders can pose significant hazards due to their high internal pressure and the risks associated with their contents. The following guidelines must be followed for their safe handling, use, and storage. 1. Storage Cylinders should be stored in well-ventilated areas or designated sheds. Full and empty notices should be displayed on each relevant stack. Full cylinders must be stored upright and secured with appropriate brackets, chains, or stands to prevent falling. 2. Cylinders should be stacked horizontally with proper blocks at each end to prevent rolling. Do not stack more than two layers high. Do not store cylinders in areas where they may be exposed to oil, acid, or other corrosive liquids. Keep cylinders away from heat sources such as ovens, furnaces, boilers, or any other equipment that could increase internal pressure. Do not use tarpaulins or any materials that could trap heat and cause the cylinder to overheat. Oxygen cylinders must be stored separately from oils, greases, and other flammable substances. Ensure that cylinder valves are free from oil, dirt, and grit. Two handling and use. Use only appropriate tools to open cylinders, and make sure the tools are free from oil or grease. Do not use cylinders as rollers, supports, or jacks. Never allow cylinders to come in contact with electrical apparatus or sharp objects that could cause damage to the cylinder surface. If transporting cylinders, use cylinder trolleys or trucks designed for safe handling. Cylinders should not be lifted by valves, regulators, or other parts unless they are specifically designed for this purpose. When opening or closing a cylinder valve, wear appropriate personal protective equipment, PPE, such as gloves, goggles, and face shields. Ensure that cylinders are properly identified, and ensure that the correct gas is being used for the intended purpose. Four point two pipe work piping installation and maintenance 
Where possible, cylinders should be located outside of buildings and connected to the facility by pipelines. Pipes must be made of appropriate material and should be securely clamped in place. Relief valves should be installed to discharge in a safe, non-enclosed, well-ventilated area. Ensure that piping systems for flammable gases are not run alongside electrical cables or equipment. Piping must be clearly labeled to indicate which gas is being transported. Four point three transportation cylinders must be secured in transport vehicles to prevent them from rolling, falling, or coming into contact with other objects. Cylinders should not extend beyond the vehicle's boundaries. When transporting cylinders, ensure that the vehicle complies with local transportation regulations for hazardous materials. 4.4 Handling of Empty Cylinders When a cylinder is empty, ensure the valve is closed and the cylinder is properly marked as empty. Empty cylinders should not be fully discharged. Maintain a slight pressure inside to prevent contamination. Empty cylinders should be returned to the supplier or properly disposed of through an approved waste disposal contractor. 4.5 Emergency Actions Cylinder Valve Leaks If a cylinder valve develops a leak, immediately attempt to tighten the valve while wearing appropriate PPE. If the leak persists, move the cylinder to a well-ventilated area and inform the department head, EHAs, and fire safety personnel. In case of major leakage, Activate emergency alarms and follow the emergency procedure outlined in EHA's SOP. If an injury occurs while handling a cylinder, inform the department head, fill out an accident report form, and provide medical assistance as needed. 5. Conclusion The safe handling, use, and disposal of compressed gas cylinders is critical to maintaining a safe working environment. All personnel must be trained and vigilant when working with or around cylinders to minimize the risks associated with their hazards. This SOP serves as a comprehensive guideline for the safe management of gas cylinders, ensuring compliance with safety standards and regulations. 6. Annexures Annexure A. Hazard Identification and Risk Assessment for Gas Cylinders Annexure B. Emergency Response Plan for Gas Cylinder Leaks and Accidents Annexure C. Personal Protective Equipment, PPE, Guidelines for Handling Compressed Gas Cylinders Thank you.